Hey everybody, welcome back. So let's continue. Alright. So let's go through here. What you want to do is go up these stairs. Oh, yeah, that's right. Back to the having to have to press X all the time. Yes, I will actually. And I'm going to do that. Oh! Okay. And they kind of went back to the old Resident Evil style with this one instead of uh, the new um, tweaks and stuff they added to the um, to Resident Evil 3. So, oh god, oh. Take these, yeah. Okay. Alright, go up here. This should be an Irby. Yes. Oh no, I want to do that. There we go. I'm not going to be able to get used to Circle being uh, also um, <laughs> saying that it's okay to do stuff. That is a little annoying. But I will persevere. I will take the map. Thank you. Nothing else of interest over here. Nothing of interest on there. Let's go through here. It's a toilet. Nothing in there. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go in here. dead body here. You, you gotta say anything about that? No, but you are gonna look at it. <clears throat> Prisoner's Diary. May 13th. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. May 16th. Today, Bob told some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? May 20th. Without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine. Oh. At midnight, I'll sneak out, to, uh, sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I'd better pray for Bob. May 21st. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on there? All I could hear was some insane creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. May 27th. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Suppose you're going to die. If I had to guess. There's a zombie here. Hmm. There's ammo. I want to go back here first. There's some ammo on this guy. Yeah, we'll take it, actually. And, uh... Alright. Basically, you take this ammo, and something bad is gonna happen. Oh! Snap! We want these. We want these. Want the shiny. Back up. Come on. Yeah. All right. Cross 
Justice averted. Um. So we got this. The MP100P. Or M100P. I'm not going to use it because it's a submachine gun. However, I am going to use it soon. I think. Or maybe I need to wait. I should probably save it. Oh! See you later. I'm not even going to worry about you. I have bigger fish to fry. Oh, Alright. I hate this part. Oh. Something's underneath the deck. We should run. Um. Alright. That's cool. We should run. We should just keep running. Run fast. Keep running. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hi, guys. Alright. Oh. I'm still alive. I'm dead now. Oh. We're the guys who go... Oh, God. Oh. Like I was saying... We're the guys that go crazy. Alright, good. So I have to go in here. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. You have to do exactly as that box just said. So everything that is metal, which is like everything except for the herbs. And yeah. Hi, you guys. See you later. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Ooh. Ah, uh, but I can't get those yet. There's no sense in picking them up. Oh my God! I'm a gnat. I'm a fly in your face. Up. Oh. Someone is on the computer. Facts on the facility access application. Be sure to verify the content of the following facility access application form and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guard Room, Paul Steiner. I hereby apply for access permission for Prison Area D. Details follow. Visitor's name, Carl Grisham. Purpose of entry, carrying in the following materials. New product sample from Metal Industries Company, TG1. Two, various daily commodities ordered by the prison. Note, we'll use a transportation truck. Two, TG01 sample will be stored in the designated briefcase, which means, um, talking about the guy at the beginning. Cutscene. Chris Redfield. That's my brother. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your sibling. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? Are you that surprised, Claire? I'm going to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. You don't know Chris. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. 
such a douchebag. Did I email Leon? Oh. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. The email to Leon has already been sent. Good. The email to blah. Oh, we'll take the ink ribbons. Thank you. And since I've got three, I will use one. Save over one. That one. Wait. No. No. Oh well. I have a feeling that was like at the beginning of the game anyway, so it's not oh yeah. Whoa. God, Steve doesn't know how to operate anything. He's over here like, oh, I'm Steve, press buttons, press buttons. When all you had to do was pull the lever up. But alright. <laughs> Zombies. <gasps> Too bad I can't get that yet. Blah, blah. Oh, I'm not going to read these because these are like manual for the thing and I, I don't want to explain. Like, I've already read this, but it's like, it just tells you that the machine next to this can scan a 3D object and etch it into something. It can duplicate it, which leads to the, which is how you're going to be able to use the, um, emblem because I can't take it with me. See, like, if I go over here and try to go through, oh. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Screw you! Yeah, that's what happens. And it does that until you come over here, press a button. Alright. So yeah. We need to put... We need to... We need to do this. data transmission complete. Alright. And I'll see you guys in the next video.